Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civilization VI as Brazil. Wrapping up the few things with this turn. Got to pick a couple production things. Um, this is Rio. Rio, Rio, Rio. So I'm about to send a guy over here to burn this jungle down to get the commercial hub that we need. Um, so what else do I need to put in this well that I can build up that I get a boost from it? You can do like a carnival or something. That would be kind of interesting. Get a boost to the carnival. I'm assuming that's a thing you can do. Um, Renaissance walls. Arena. Plus one amenity from entertainment. That actually would be pretty beneficial. So let's do the arena. I like it. Alright, you actually still need a street carnival at some point. An encampment would be pretty good as well at some point as well, as well. Like where would I put an encampment? Way up there maybe? Right here? Probably up there. Kind of defend up that area. Although right here would help protect both of these cities. So that actually might be the smarter choice. What else could I put out? Commercial hub. Two. So that would be a good place for commercial hub. Theater square. Eh, I'm not, I mean, I, maybe at some point I need to put theater squares out. Carnival could be anywhere. So carnival could be way over here. Although being next to another district would be the best but sticking over here would not be the you know a bad idea necessarily holy site over here would actually be the best place for holy site if i was going to stick one of those out so on that note let's do this add a pen um let's just say h whatever Holy. We'll just say holy. No. Come on. I don't know what it's doing. Holy. Go away. Go away. That still did not change it. She must have changed something else over here, probably. That's unfortunate. So, holy. We'll have to remember that. Place it down, then pick it. Oh, it's changing this one for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so holy's there. Very likely. Um, commercial hub. Saying it's there is the best place. So let's go ahead and put a pin there for the commercial hub. Even though I really like that place for an encampment. No, cancel. Oh, why did I, it keeps getting rid of that thing. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I don't need that one over there anyway. All right, there. Add a pin. There. Okay. Select you. Commercial. And then... What else? An encampment, maybe? Maybe? I mean, one up here would not be the most strategic place in the world it wouldn't be, i don't know i don't know if that would help me at all it's right there next to auckland which would be strange i really don't think that would help me i think the only logical place for an encampment is right there strategically so i actually think i have to change this to an encampment even though i lose a little bit of gold i think losing the one one gold per turn is better than losing the strategic location for that so that means the Commercial would be up here, which is fine. It's not great. You know, it's really dependent on this thing up here, so. But nope, I think we're going to have to do that. That pin right there. Okay, and name you to commerce. Alright, what else? What did I just do? Oh, I just selected something. That's fine. Um... Street Carnival. Street Carnival pretty much goes wherever's left. Uh, on this mine? On this lumber mill? One of these two, maybe? Probably makes the most sense. I could stick it over here. So it's next to this other Street Carnival. I'd consume that jungle, I guess. I'd have to flip the jungle from Sousa. Which actually is not the worst thing to do in the world. Um, no, go back. Why are you stuck? What are you stuck on? There we go. That was weird. Alright, you. If I swap you back to me, I could put another entertainment thing right there. I think that's okay. I could swap that one back. Does Susan really have that one way up there? That would actually be a better place for an encampment. 
I mean, Commerce can go here. Carnival may be way up there. I don't know if there's any reason to put the Carnival next to anything. Let's see. Uh, let's see, Carnival, I mean, other than the fact that it gets, it can give its bonus to everything else. Street Carnival. There's literally no adjacency that I can see. So, that's fine. So, we're going to change you to Carnival. Carnival. Change you to Commerce. Swap you over. And then change you. Put a pin there. Okay, and change you to in camp. And I can't put in camera there, right? Let me make, I'm not sure. Make sure I'm not making that up. Yes. Okay, we're good. No, I think I like the rest of these. These are good. Um. So that means, what do I want to build then? After all that. I don't think I want to build an encampment without burning down the jungle, which I could go ahead and do. A commerce hub. Commerce, commerce, commerce would probably be the best. Getting a second backup commerce going, get some more money in. Yeah, I think that's actually the best choice I can make. Commerce there. Done. Which means I can delete this one. Thank you, Firaxis, for putting in these pens, by the way. This is uh, very nice to plan this stuff out. All right, I like the rest of that. I'm okay with that. That's going to be there. Yeah, I think I'm good. So this guy will move over to there and just go and chop down that fort jungle probably. Just give me some boost here. Uh, how am I housing? Yeah, I've got plenty of housing, so getting a little food from the jungle would not be a bad deal. All right. That is all. Anything I need to swap off of? Nope. Everything's good. Next turn. Three more turns on my commerce thing. That is going to be very nice to have. All these guys have medieval walls. Looks pretty nice. Losing housing in a couple places. Or losing... Yeah, low in housing. Definitely still low in amenities up here, unfortunately. Gotta get that taken care of. Which is probably what the wine will do. All right, trade routes. Give me something with lots of gold. Lisbon looks like it has the most gold. Anything else that jumps out at me that would be good gold, but also a few other things? Not really. Cairo still, though. All right, let's do the gold. Let's go straight to Lisbon and get a whole bunch of gold. Nice. All right, you are going to go, you've already got the farms here. You got four builds, so burning this down would be one of those, and I think I'm okay with that. Let's come over here and burn that down. These farms should be getting quite a bit of food. Or do I not have the adjacency yet? I can't remember if that's a thing you get early on, if it's a late to game thing. Um, one more turn on the library, two turns on the commerce. These are getting within range, 12, 14, that's really good. All right, next turn. Still need my industrial zone here. Soon, soon, soon. Probably commerce first, though. Yeah, it's probably have to be commerce first. Just need the gold. The gold can take care of a lot of things. Upgrade units and all sorts of things. Let 
I think once I can start rolling out battleships, that might be around the time that I start considering going after Japan. I mean, it's not got great land down here, but it's got some good wonders and things, so maybe worth just taking him over. Maybe just leave him that one right there by itself. Be very sad, but that's all right. He deserves it. He came to war with me a couple times. All right, you are going to chop this. Give me a couple growth. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Oh. You were still under Tokyo's ruling. Ew. Well, I'm okay with that as well, actually, I think. No, that actually puts Tokyo too high. That's not good. Um, but I'm still good on the amenities, so... In the grand scheme of things, it's going to be okay, but I should have checked. Make sure that was swapped over. It does help rush the caravel, which I am okay with that, though, actually. Alright, you. You're going to build a... Oh, you can build a road, that's right. You're going to build a fort here. Oh, my crossbowman could sit in here and plink away at other people. Tiny little fort. Alright, perfect. Um, Lisbon's declared war on Peter. Need more housing. Yes, yes, yes. Commerce coming out in one turn. Choose production. Uh, I guess there's nothing else to do but roll you right into university. Getting some more walls would be good at some point, but I'm already allied with Spain, so... Until something changes with that, I'm not worried, I guess. Uh, at some point, going with the industrial logistics here as well would be really beneficial, I think. But let's do the uh, university first. And everything else looks good. Next turn. Another goodie hut. Way over there. Wow. Good finding stuff, sir. How are we looking on the great people? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click on you, sir. About to pass him, but he's getting within range that he can start buying with faith. Now, if he's been buying a lot of stuff, though... I know it's India. I'm thinking Arabia. Uh, yeah, he's getting close. We may need to buy this guy as soon as we... Wait a minute. Somebody already bought it. What? That's impressive that somebody already was able to get that other guy. Twenty free great people points towards recruiting all current and future great people. That's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. And a Eureka for one random technology from the modern atomic era. It's not great. I don't think I need to rush this guy now that I, now that he's there. This guy, however, I'd still really like to rush. So maybe when I get the faith within range of him, I'll look for him. All right, you already did that. So all that's left for you is the commerce. You've got three builds left. I need to come over here and put the fish here and hook up that plantation. So let's do the fish first, I guess. Since I know I'm working that tile anyway. You need to put another fort somewhere. I think somewhere over here was going to be okay. Not exactly sure where. Um... Truthfully, I just need another fort. I don't even care if I use it. I really don't care if I use it for anything. So anywhere strategic I can put a fort? I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I thought about putting one over here, but... Are you using that jungle right there? You are using that jungle right there. I could just stick it right here, just to have it. You know what, why not? Let's just stick it right there. I'm not using that marsh for anything, I bet. I can't imagine I am. I'm technically am. It's three food, but... I think I can get away without it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, what are you doing right now? Just focus on food. It's unfocusing on food right now. Let's go back to default. Okay, I'm okay with that. Getting a little bit of faith, getting a little bit of that. Yep, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, choose production. You got your commerce, finally, yay! 
I do need another trader now. Don't know that I need to build it there since I can build start building the markets and things here, which is probably a great idea. So market it is. You are going to chop this down. You are going to build a mine here. Takes us from 17 to 15. Not too bad, not too bad. And then I will hook up this luxury source and all will be well with the world. A lot of stuff coming in within the next 15 turns or so. A couple more turns, probably about seven more turns on the Enlightenment. Still need to get another great person to trigger that, but pretty close to a couple of them. And Samaria, I don't think you can get another unit in your territory. Seriously. Not Samaria. Per I keep saying that, Samaria. Persia. I don't think you can get another uh, unit in your territory. That is a ton of units. So one thing the AI does is builds lots and lots of units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have as much science or whatever with you as you. Sorry, dude. Not much I can do about it right now. Don't know if anybody told you you're playing on a daily AI, so you're cheating. So that's an almost an impossible task to keep up with you. Alright, you cleared that out and three builds left. Maybe a lumber mill. And then maybe the bananas or something. Probably wouldn't be too bad. Let's start with a lumber mill. And then we may come down here and hook up those bananas, finally. Alright, you need to hook that up. Luxury resource. Go. Done. Does that give me enough amenities for this guy yet? Not yet. We're still at zero though, so we're not terrible. What does that do? Is that hook it up over here for these guys or something? One, 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 two. That's pretty good. I like the twos. Three's there. That's great. One there is not. I mean, it could be better. I mean, everybody's close, but they're doing pretty good. Um, housing. I got a couple places that need some housing pretty big time. Everything else looks okay, though. Still good on Enlightenment. Next turn. Nine Madal wants this trade route. Okay. Way over there. Oh, you're a long ways away. Cultural. I kind of want somebody else to get that one. I don't really know if I want him that much. He just, he's okay, but he's not great. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look at some of these other ones as well. Finally getting some gold in my banks. That is really nice. In fact, it's probably enough gold that I can start swapping off some of the gold locking that I've been doing. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm doing. Just go through and unlock everything. Just let it do its thing. Alright, you. Oh, you can't build that there without clearing it first. And that would use up one of your builds. 
Yeah, I don't want to do that then. So I need to get a uh, worker over there to uh, clear out that marsh. Unless I decide to build you somewhere else. I can build a fort up there. Fort up there. Hmm. You don't really need the food. You could use the food. If I swap that over to you, which actually is currently under you. So, let's do that. You. Actually, you know what? We'll just get over here quickly. Get that done. Clear out that marsh, and I think we'll be all right. So that means you're just going to sit there for a few turns. And really, the only reason we're building a fort there is just to build a fort there. Why not? All right, send an envoy. So we don't have the bonus to two anymore, so I don't know if there's any necessarily specific reason to send it to Armage. I mean, plus two faith and capital is something, so I might still do that. Plus two culture would be good. Anything I'm close to getting a Brussels, I actually could get a suzerain bonus from. Uh, that would have been nice earlier. Kabul, I could get suzerain from. Your units receive double experience from battles they initiate. Okay, interesting. Nothing else that I see jumping out at me. Huh, let's just go get here. Let's get a little more faith. Might as well. Actually, does that mean I have two? Did I have two? No, I only had one. Alright, perfect. I wonder where I got the envoy from. Oh, I bet I got the envoy from... Nope, I didn't get this yet. I'm not sure what I got that from. Hmm. Oh well. Um. That is that. Everything else looks okay. You know what? Let's come down here real quick. Can I get to this right now? Nope, not yet. Okay, we'll get that next turn. But that will have to wait. We're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.